Hello, this is Dr. Ismail Kuchker speaking here. Today, I would like to inform you about the blepharoplasty, which is the eye aesthetics. As you know, we can do both upper blepho blepharoplasty and also the lower blepharoplasty. Blepharoplasty means just not excising the excess skin, but also you will excise overgrowth fat pads both in the upper eyelid and three fat pads in the lower eyelid. Also, if you have any defects or any dents in upper eyelid and in your lower eyelid, for example, in lower eyelid like tear trough deformity or A deformity in the upper eyelid, we add some nano fat grafts to your bot dents to make a finer and a smoother appearance in your eyelids. These surgeries are done under general anesthesia. When you want these surgeries, you will contact us first from our mails, from our Instagram accounts and from our WhatsApp numbers and then we will form a WhatsApp group with you and we will discuss with me as a doctor, our healthcare manager and you the possibilities of the surgeries and if you need any further additional things to increase the quality of surgery. For example, generally many people also will need some fat graftings especially for the mid face or sometimes threads to support the cheek area to make a smooth appearance in periorbital. Periorbital means the area around the eye because it's not only the eye surgery but also the periorbital and the mid face surgery because if you want to have an attractive looks it's not just the eyes you'll also have eyebrows, mid cheek and the sides so it is a wall Thing. it's not a single thing if you want to achieve a harmony then I can advise you some additional things it's like that and then we will show you some before after photographs of the patients and if you want some also you can find it in our Instagram page in uh, in the stories uh, that come forward section and then we will ask for all your questions in your mind you will ask doctor it will it look like that I will say that no my techniques will not allow it because if you need some fat excising excising then I will use the transconjunctival approach which will not harm your under eye muscles a doctor will do I have some will I have some skin excess yes you might have because you're also in the future will become time passes by and in the following years you might have you might have slight skin excess but if we need anything else in the future we will help you both in local things and both in the uh, lasers we, we have the fractional lasers we have the uh, other plexer devices or uh, everything and so we will guide you there for the whole process for this thing when you come to the clinic also you go to the hospital you will take the general anesthesia test and anesthesia doctors will see you doctor can that be done under local anesthesia yes it can be but sometimes patients may be panicked during the surgery so I advise you for a more comfortable surgery general anesthesia to serve you better and well okay and you also you will feel safer under the general anesthesia after the surgery you will have to stay at least one night for the hospital generally I never need a second night but even after four to five hours after the surgery if you feel comfortable and if you want to leave for the hotel you can leave for the hotel by other by I, I advise you to stay at least for one night because on the other day I will come to see you on the morning and if everything is okay I will discharge you from the hospital after that you'll stay four to five days in the hotel and then you'll come to the clinic I will remove the tapes 
I will remove the stitches. And if everything is okay, I will say that, okay, have a safe journey to your home and we will let you go uh, to your country after everything is fine. And if you have any further things, if you will need any assistance, the WhatsApp groups will stay there too. And if you want to come uh, for a checkup, if you want uh, to show any problems that you face in the period, we will be gladly serving you even after the operation, which is the critical issue after the surgeries. You might have the surgeries, but the surgery does not end after you leave Istanbul. We will continue to be with you for your whole process in the future too. So I would like to say warm goodbye to you. And just if you need any assistance, feel free to ask to us. Bye-bye.